Good morning. I'm delighted to greet you at this second half of your diocesan convention as you meet during the season of Advent, a season that is filled with hope. As you know, Advent is that time of year when we prepare to celebrate the first coming of Christ into the world. He came simply and quietly as a vulnerable baby in a borrowed manger in Bethlehem, and he was welcomed by the shepherds. It's a story that has universal appeal. It really is good news for the world. There is, of course, another dimension to the Advent season, getting ready for the second coming of Christ. And this time he will come in glory, accompanied by the heavenly host, and no one will ignore it. Now, does this second coming fill you with hope or dread? Do you even think about it at all? No question there has been and still is lots of false teaching on the subject, but we dare not dismiss it. Jesus believed in it passionately, and he is the author and perfecter of our faith. And every time we say the Nicene Creed, we declare he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. So what exactly does the Bible teach us about the second coming? Well, first of all, the Lord is coming back. Make no mistake about it. Secondly, we cannot possibly know when. So, number three, we need to be ready at all times. A few years ago, Angela and I visited the Archbishop Bainey Memorial Church Cathedral in Lagos, Nigeria. We had been invited to a midweek prayer meeting. Now, we thought we'd be joining a handful of people praying quietly, but when we arrived, we were met by more than 800 men and women praying up a storm. It was breathtaking. I heard later that the church was about to buy a hospital to provide medical care for the poor in the neighboring community. And I wondered what could possibly inspire such devotion. And then I saw the church's vision statement, which read, to be the leading diocese in the Church of Nigeria, preparing this nation for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Wow, now that's a vision. They really believe that Jesus is coming back to this earth in power and majesty, and they want to get everyone, everyone ready for it. I was profoundly challenged by their vision, their faith, and their commitment to the gospel, and I still am. It's changed my thinking about Advent. Now, I still enjoy all of the excitement preparing for Christmas, but now I'm much more conscious of the need to get ready for the second coming of Christ and also help those around me get ready as well. So what about you? Jesus is coming. Are you ready? It could be sooner than you think. Amen?